Hey, Philly. Okay, raise your hand if you're scared of snakes. You, me, and Indiana Jones. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay to be afraid of snakes. It's one of the most common fears. In fact, our brains are hardwired to be, for us to be afraid of snakes. It's not, you know, I, people who are afraid of snakes passed on their biological material, their genetic material, uh, more successfully. Uh, they did this study with little children who'd never heard of a snake, and they could pick a snake out of a field of flowers faster than they could pick a snake out of uh, a, a flower out of a field of snakes. We're, we're attuned to the snake. It's a survival thing. And I, I, it's enhanced by media, our fear of snakes. I was watching TV when I was a kid, National Geographic special, freeze frame on the the rattlesnake, like that. And so that doesn't help, that enhances our already natural fear of snakes. And real life experience, uh, we, were, we, were, we had to watch the boa in my middle school class. Uh, it was feeding time and our teacher made us stay and check it out, it's nature. You have to, you, you know, have to expose us. And that snake had reared its head up. It was ready, it was looking all evil and snake-like. It was, I was just cowering in the corner, but I, I felt like I had to watch. Against, and it struck, it completely, I guess its reflexes were dulled. It hit the side of the terrarium and totally knocked itself out. And um, so that, okay, snakes aren't the, the totally all-powerful, omnipotent, horrifying, you know, mouth on a stick. In fact, snakes are kind of sexy. Who, if, you, if you've ever felt a snake, it feels a lot like someone's leg in, uh, in tights. It's a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling. But there are places where snakes are serious problems. The Russell's Viper in India kills 20,000 people a year. Do you know how many people, 20,000 people? That's a lot of people. Do you know how many people that is? I'm, you're gonna see. You're gonna see. It would reach from the Liberty Bell to the King of Prussia Mall if you laid all those 20,000 Indian peasants end to end. This is not funny. You should not be laughing. And uh, you know, guys walk around with snakes, they're kind of like fashion items. And th this probably is a Burmese python. These are, they're popular because they're kind of mellow. They're quiet, they're mellow, but there are problems with the Burmese python, as, as we all know. Uh, you feed them, they keep getting bigger. They keep getting bigger, you might let it go. In Florida, it's the perfect habitat, and they're battling it out now with alligators at the top of the food chain. They are. They are, and, I, okay, I don't know how many people have seen this YouTube video, it's a little disturbing, so I, I, I altered it. This, this like 12 foot long snake sucked down a, a six foot long alligator and it had a little indigestion. Okay, but if you keep feeding it, the biggest one is 26 feet long in captivity. Uh, if you laid four people end to end, they would, you know, th their stomach is not that big, but that's how long it is. These snakes are equally at home on land, in the water, and in trees. And they're here, in America, in the United States. Okay, but they're in Florida, right? Okay, but the projected possible range for these things, you notice it's the lower 30% of the U.S. It's, it gets almost to the top of Chesapeake Bay, which, thank God, is south of here. Right? But I go around the corner of my block, South Philly, across from the Acme, there's an illegal puppy and snake mill. I don't, don't want to know what happens to the puppies if they don't move, if move those units. Yeah, but there's therapy. I've seen people and the, and the, on YouTube, I watch videos about snake therapy. Basically, the key is to become exposed to snakes. Be around snakes. It's okay. They're part of nature. So this is my mission. If anyone here owns a snake or knows someone who does, approach me after this. I want to hang out. I want to get together and get over it. You know, I don't have to be all indie. I don't have to be all tough. I can be friendly. I can, you know, get to know my brother snake, my brother vertebrate. I'm Johnny Goldstein. Thank you, Ignite Philly. So talk to me. I'm serious. I want to hang out with some snake people. Let's do it.